Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, obviously, Insane Gorilla. And, well, where we last left off with the Issei one, is that him and Rius Grimmery, along with his sister, were having a discussion with Rius about where to find Big Red's Holder, aka Drake. As well, she obviously gave him the information. As oops, as Kiva, Arcano, and the others walk in. As well, Kiva sort talks to Issei, but not realizing that he is an ancient devil. He uh, sort of quickly bowed, because ancient devils, they got the most power. Oh boy, it's going to be fun when Riser meets him. Spoiler alert. Anyway, from where we last left off, him, Rias... His sister, well, somewhat sister, Zenovia. Yes, Zenovia is going to be a, de a marauder in this as well. If you didn't pick up the name the first time, instead of her being a member of the church, she's a devil early on. As well. Rias gives him the information, saying you can find Asuna in this part of the school, and those boys won't be far off. As Zenovia speaks up, saying, Perverts. Great. Just what we don't need. As they well, walk off, finding Asuna. As well, they get the two boys off of her and stick near her, becoming her quick friends over the next four months. She appreciates their company because now that she has two people who actually stand up for her as well to keep the two perverted boys away. And she well, gets to know them. They well, act being her friends because honestly they need to act to be her friends for this. As well. They actually talk to her for well, pretty much all the time as they are friends with her, quote unquote. And for one of their lessons, they, their teacher, because they actually have to attend the school as well, their teacher says, Today, students, we are getting a new transfer student. Be aware, she is, well, partly religious, so please give her a bit of respect and don't tease her. I believe Arsena may get along with her quite well. As Arsena looks towards Issei and Zenobia, as they both shrug, saying, We have no idea what's going on. We didn't even know we were getting a new student today. As well, the classroom sort of like says, Ooh, it's a girl. That's the two boys get up at Issei. Yeah, and a beauty at that. As Issei turns around to look at him, saying, Seriously. 
Is that all you two are going to ever think about? Is she introduces herself as Irina, and she is a member of the church. <clears throat> well, the daughter of somebody who goes to a church, so she just tags along. And she sees Issei as a small drop of sweat goes down her face. As, well, Asuna picks up on it, along with Zenobia. As, she, well, Irina looks towards Issei and Zenobia, she sees the same signature of both, but one's extremely more powerful -er than the other. As she sort of walks past everybody, as she sort of whispers underneath her breath, but loud enough for you say to hear, meet me outside behind the shed. We need to talk. As easy just replies saying, What's the matter? Scared? And she just walks off saying, not scared. I'm not scared at all. And she just, well, just walks off. As break soon happens, Issei walks to the shed as Irina is standing behind it as he sort of says to himself out loud where is she and she sort of taps the shed saying i'm behind here i'm behind it i don't want people to see us as he sort of checks over his shoulder to see your hand waving well, sort of shaking while waving as he walks over, then checks over his shoulders to make sure nobody sees him as he walks well, behind the shed. As Imana sort of asks him, what are the devils doing near her? As he just says, my job. That's what I'm doing. I am doing my job. Honestly, I'm surprised Sir Michael would send you here. Ain't you like a rookie or something like that? Up in, you know, in the heavens department? Is there and just says, well, I am one of their faithful servants down here on the mortal realm. Uh, so you could kind of attune to it of being a rookie. I got the most important job. Convincing Big Red's holder, or Dreg's holder, should I be more precise, to join the church, even though she is part of the church? That's where you're wrong. You see, she left the church to explore the world. She wanted to start a journey by going to school here, Learning about all the world here than actually going off in the big wide world to actually explore it for herself. So, yeah, I was sent here to keep an eye on her to make sure no devils get involved in her work, <clears throat> you could say. Even though you are a devil. You're extremely powerful. So lose the form you're in. They can tell you're getting agitated by it. So, as its voice starts going demonic, So, you want me to show you my true form? I'm placing a barrier up around us. 
So it looks like we're talking if any student comes nearby. As he sort of changes in front of her. <laughs> there. Better. Or do you want me to go back into my human form? Well, as his power has been released, several people can feel it. As Irina just says, <clears throat> why can't you just leave her alone? You forget who I am. I'm a devil, although I'm one trying to seek forgiveness for some unknown crimes I committed. As Irina says, why, what do you mean? As he says, so, well, before he could say anything, they hear a what the hell is this? As he, well, as they all look to see Asana. <clears throat> as she is really scared, saying, What the hell? D the devil? Th th this can't be true. Please tell me this isn't true. This, I thought we were friends. I could recognize that signature. It's, it's you, you say, isn't it? Unfortunately, it seems my secret that I've tried to keep has unfortunately hit the fan. Great. As another girl walks up, as she says, not this time, as she wipes us in his memories, and puts her next to the shed. She just says, Seriously, Marauder, you can't just go one day without going into your fort, can you? Don't blame me, Rias Grimmery. The servant of the church figured me out. Long before I even spoke to her. So I suggest you shut it. Seriously. I could have told her that it was just a prank. Just me and dress up. And yet, there you go, wiping everybody's memories as if it was nothing. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Perhaps you will never amount to anything but a failure. Your father and brother will be sorely disappointed in you. <clears throat> As Zenobia turns up. And she just says, Brother, stop this at once. This ain't you. You're never like this. Shut up, Zenovia. Like I said, you ain't older than I. You have very little experience. As Irina just speaks up, saying, Okay, why doesn't she have any experience compared to you? Because I am an ancient devil. I'm stronger than Irina, Rius, her father, and her brother. The entire Rius fa Grimlery family would be wiped out by me alone. Zenovia doesn't train. She sticks by me. Whatever I do, she does. And it gets annoying. This is why your leader, Rias, your brother, never tells you anything, and I never tell you 
anything, said Novia. I am sick and tired of being a devil. Everything I do, everything I have done, is to get God's attention. To re make him realize that I am trying to atone for my sins. And yet, here you are, crowding me as usual, so I can't even speak to him in my own way. <sighs> I'm leaving. I've had enough of everybody for one day. As he sort of turns around with... Well, Zenovia trying to grab hold of him as he sort of backhands her, saying, Stay away from me, weakling. As he just walks off, opening a portal and disappearing. Irina and Rius, well, chat as Rius says, he has not done that ever before. As Irina says, well, yeah, it's because he's most probably trying to atone for sins. For 18 years he has served my family. Well, ever since I was free, he has served us. Perhaps he just wants to die. As, well, Rius finds he say again, as she sort of asks him, do you want to die to go to heaven? Rius, you have no idea what it's like to be cast out of heaven for no reason. I didn't even get a chance to atone for any sins before I was blasted into hell in the place I will call the Umbral Plains, where it mutated me. Now leave me alone. As he opens up a portal and walks through it. As Rius tries to grab hold of him, but the portal closes behind him. As Issei walks to a different location in his marauder form, as he just walks out the portal, saying, Stupid grimmeries. For centuries I've been trying to appease God, but he hasn't responded. Almost like he can no longer respond to my pleas. I've done everything. Pray, tried to pray to him. Asking for forgiveness from him. Even going to some of his servants and surrendering to them. But all I do is try to kill and kill and kill. Perhaps I'm just not worth saving anymore. Perhaps it'll be good if I just simply disappear off grid for years or even centuries walking among the humans, atoning for sins that I must have committed when I was still alive. As he well, hears a voice saying, how would you like to be forgiven? By the sword or by your own actions? I have come with an offer, Marauder. Sir Michael himself has sent me. Why would Sir Michael send an angel of your caliber to me? Because he sees that you are one great one person 
racked in guilt and sorrow. He understands that you're losing your way. I would like to help you become something that you always wanted to be. To be and also to reunite. To reunite with the people you know as your mother and father. If an angel was offering his help, I will accept it. Then defeat me in combat to prove that you are worthy of God and of Sir Michael's time. I do not wish to hurt you. Ones of your standing are way too powerful, even for a devil like myself. Don't be ridiculous, ancient devil. You're stronger than you look. I got to admit, the first time we met, you royally kicked my ass. But I've been training since then. No, don't tell me you're... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be damned, nationed fifty times over, then. You have gotten stronger. I'm pleased to see it. Maradol, keeper of history and a fine warrior. Well met. An archangel now as well. From the lonely little warrior who couldn't hit anything. You've become strong. I will accept your offer and fight to find out if I am stronger or strong enough to be redeemed. Have no fear, Marauder, as he sort of grabs his weapon. For you shall be redeemed. If I defeat you, that means you are still strong enough to hold your own against me. And if you win, that just proves that your will is strong enough to try and become holy again. And so they sort of fight. And fight and fight and fight. And because they're somewhere where nobody can see them, they can go fall out. It's Issei and Madarum gets, uh, well, both fall to the floor, exhausted. As Madarum just simply says, Ha <laughs> ha, good fight. You are definitely worthy of being redeemed. Allow me to leave this gift for you. As he sort of vanishes, as he leave it, leaves something behind. As he say, just stands up, saying, Thank you, Madrum, Keeper of Histories. I will never forgive, forget your kindness today. Perhaps I can be redeemed after all. But hey, that's where I'm leaving it, folks. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Next one will be What if Aster was the kid of Igneo? Peace.